Full soap, goat milk soap, uh, lotions, creams. Um, I love making herbal soaps. I believe God gave them to us for a reason. He put them on the earth for a reason. Um, and they have God given medicinal purposes. Um, and we're located um, in North Carolina. Our soap shop is. And I'm going to start doing videos to making soap to try to show what we do. And um, we like to forage a lot of our own herbs, uh, what we can, to go in our products. And um, I hope you'll watch our videos. Hi, this is Spring with Soaps and Suds and Such. And I'm going to be making, um, it's my own recipe, um, our Pine Tar Herbal Soap. And first, safety of course, I've got to put on my gloves because life can really lay you a hurting. And the loud noise that you might hear is my bird. I have a military McCall and she gets rather loud sometimes. But first I'm going to be adding, I've already got my oils in my pan or pot. I have coconut oil, olive oil tallow, shea butter, and stearic acid. And then I'm going to be adding my lye water solution to my oils. And the other sound going on in the here in this room is my son ha, has a 3D printer and it seems to be going at this time right now so it makes a little bit of bracket. Get all my line there, live water. That in there. Okay, and I'm going to blend this. And I did add some tufts of silk to my lye water and sodium lactate, which will help harden the bar of the soap. And this is thickening up rather quickly. Tar, which I did warm. I'm going to add that in there. It thickened up on me rather quickly. I'm going to scrape what I can get out of that. I don't like to waste anything. getting loud now. <laughs> and I do have my goggles on 
course, I always wear my goggles. Do not trust my eyes around live water. Not much blending needed in this soap. Okay. Now I'm going to be adding my herbal infused oil, which is how I super prep this soap. And I do super fat it because I want the herbs in there, which are calendula, um, jewelweed, plantain, uh, dandelion, and chickweed, and comfrey. Yes. Okay, let's stir that around. And I'm going to have to stop the video for just a Okay, now I'm going to add my essential oil, which I'm using tea tree, essential oil, and rosemary. Quite quick. I've got to start getting it in the mold. I'm going to be using. Can you see that mold? Mm -hmm. Rather large mold. But I need to try to put this in here. Jesse dear, can I get you to help me? Hold this up. So I can put it in there. Is it hot? Man, it shouldn't be too hot. Touch it. Okay. Let's start with this. Put this in here. <coughs> move pretty quick with this soap. Yep. The shoulders in the way a little bit. Huh? Sits up. Now I'm out of the way of the yeah. camera. Okay. Good. And that's my husband, Jesse Lee. The most amazing man in the world. She's crazy. And he helps me with my soap making. We're a team. This soap hardens up very quickly, as you can see. And it is rather messy. in there and I'll wipe up the mess after I get it in the mold. But we don't like to waste soap. So I do want to get all I can get out of this even if I have to put it in a separate mold. Okay, give it a tap. moves really quick. Okay. Put that in there. Put that 
this this in here. And you see how my hands are covered in this soap? That's why you wear your gloves. Had not I had my gloves on, my hands would be rather getting stung like by bees right now. <laughs> so, safety first, always. Okay, just about got it. Not really do a whole lot to the top of this soap as you can see it thickens up rather quick so I will not be doing a whole lot to it. Well, I don't know if the star mold would be. Probably not. Get out the air bubbles. Okay. edges like so okay now we'll move at the top I think I'll just do a little bit like this on the edges can't really do a whole lot to the top of this because it hardens up quick should be a very hard bar. <laughs> it usually is. And I don't see why it would be any different this time. But uh, sorry about how quick it hardens up, but I can't help that. And this is my first soap making video that I've done, so rather nervous about that but bear with me we'll get through it okay I think that we're about done with this I think that's all I'm probably going to do to the top of this soap because it doesn't need a whole lot it's as I said it's pine tar herbal it does have essential oils but I hope you enjoyed this video. I know there wasn't a whole lot to it. And hopefully I'll be doing more videos in the future. And hopefully you'll watch me. This is Spring with Soaps and Suds and Such. Thank you.